Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the SPC Maker 110 VT. This is a new 2.5 inch model from uh, SPC Maker and I actually was not going to review this because of all of the recent duds that have been coming out from SPC Maker. However, I looked at the specs and it turns out that they made a correct choice in the flight controller. Uh, they went with an F4 board with an 8K gyro. That's the MPU 6000 and not one of the um, other F4 boards with the 32K gyros that were causing trouble like uh, I think the 90NG was the one that I last reviewed that had all the vibration issues. And I know that the MP6000 is better and so I said okay I'll give this one a chance and we'll see how this goes. And actually, and I'll, I'll just uh, save you the time if you are not interested in hearing me blab about this for 20 minutes. This uh, actually turned out to fly pretty well and you can skip to the end of the video and watch the flight demo if you don't believe me. But and it has to do with the flight controller. I think that's the the biggest thing here. They, I think uh, they made the correct choice in the flight controller here. This is why I decided to go ahead and review this because I looked at the specs and it looked like uh, they made the correct choice and that's why I ended up deciding to go ahead and review this. Anyway, uh, as I mentioned, it's a two and a half inch frame, uh, 110 millimeters motor to motor. It's a true X frame, three millimeter bottom plate, uh, a little bit skinnier arms than on the uh, mini fight. Same motors, 1106 uh, 5500 KB Sunny Sky motors, and the same props, the Gem Van Flash 2540s. Comes with a three stack system here 20 amp 401 BL Heli SDSE, uh, D Shot 600 is the default. You get an F4 uh, flight controller with an Omnibus OSD. Uh, it's got the uh, MPU 6000, as I mentioned before, so the flight controller is pretty good. And then you get a third board here. It's your video transmitter, and uh, this one is power switchable from uh, 25, 100, and 200 milliwatts, but it comes with uh, this one button system to change your bands and channels. There's a manual online that explains how to do it, but it is uh, rather tedious to use. Um, I wish that they would have used some sort of board that could use the um, smart audio feature or the Tramp audio feature to change your bands and channels in the data flight OSD, but they didn't do that, so you're left with this one button system. and it is somewhat difficult to find your bands and channels. That's one of the downsides of this setup. But if you don't change your bands and channels too often, and once you find it, I would suggest leaving it there, which is what I'm going to do for this one. But uh, once I found it, everything was fine. It transmitted the video just fine. Uh, this particular uh, model comes with the FreeSky XM Plus receiver. It was already in there. You see that they already uh, heat shrunk the and zip tied the antennas out here, and you got the VTX antenna back here. It's all very nice and compact. A uh, nice, neat system here. You got a uh, Micro Swift 2, and they stuck the little OSD dongle in the back here, but they did not include the OSD joystick with the quad, so you'll need to provide your own. Um, they had the um, OSD for the camera turned on, and they weren't using all the features from the um, Betaflight OSD, so what I did is I actually turned off the camera OSD and then turned on the voltage and stuff from the Betaflight OSD because I didn't I didn't particularly like the uh, camera OSD. I prefer the Betaflight OSD, so I turned that off and turned on the other one, and that's why it's not going to look totally stock there. But in terms of the uh, Betaflight uh, firmware and the tune, I went with what was on here, and it's because the looks like that they tuned it from the factory. It comes with an older version of Betaflight 317, but it came with uh, custom uh, uh, PIDs, so I used those. I did change the rates to the rates I like because I, the rates were way too fast for what I normally fly, so I would recommend changing the rates to what you're comfortable with. Uh, but I went with the PIDs that they put in, and they're actually pretty close. Um, you'll see that in the flight demo there's a little bit of D-trim oscillation. I did push it to try and bring that out, uh, but it flew really, actually, actually fairly well. I was uh, surprised given the reputation SBC Maker has had recently, but I think that uh, they've actually put this one together pretty well, and they actually had someone fly it, and actually someone had it tuned, and um, yeah, so they're not a lot of work to get this going if you want to get this uh, basically out of the box and ready to go. So just like uh, the other SPC Maker models, it does come with uh, two batteries, um, some Velcro straps, and a case. The battery that, that they're including here is a um, 3S 350-60C battery with an XD30. Uh, it's an okay battery, but your flight time is going to be kind of on the short side. I got about two and a half minutes of flight time with this battery, uh, you know, flying it pretty aggressively. 
and uh, I didn't change the buzzer setting. I could have maybe lowered that uh, voltage setting, but I pretty much landed as soon as it started beeping at me, which was around two, the two and a half minute mark. I would recommend SPC Maker in bumping this to up to at least a 450 or 500 a minimum. Uh, this can definitely carry the weight. It's got plenty of power for that. So uh, the 350 is just too small of a battery. I would recommend upping the battery so you can get at least three to three and a half minutes of flight time on say like a 450 or 500. That would be my recommendation. And if you have other batteries that are bigger, um, uh, those would definitely work. And I'll put some alternative batteries in the description if you guys want to try those out. So the weight of the Micro here uh, without the battery is 85 grams. It's uh, actually lighter than the Mini Fight, the one I reviewed uh, about a week ago. It, that one's a little bit bigger motor motor than this one, but pretty similar in terms of the frame. Uh, the camera here is also you know, exposed, you can see there. They could have changed the design of the side plate so that it could stick out here on the side to provide a little more camera protection. I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Uh, that's an oversight and something that should be easily correctable, uh, but I would recommend that they would change the design to you know, give the camera a little bit more protection. It just kind of sticks out there. And if you happen to hit at the right spot, hit on something straight on, you will definitely damage the camera. So I already know uh, all you guys are going to be asking questions on like, how does this one compare to the uh, Mini Fight and to the, the Emacs Baby Hawk car and the 2.5 inch uh, frame. Uh, I'm going to be flying these more, and I'm going to be actually getting a few more of these 2.5 inch frames this month. And so I'll have a comparison video later on this month, maybe in a couple weeks, towards the end of the month, after I've collected more of these, and I'll give you some more of my thoughts. The initial thoughts are they probably fly fairly similarly, 11 or 6 motors and uh, the Gemfan 2540, so uh, there's not a whole lot I can talk about here at this point, but I will gather my thoughts up on those and I'll let you know in a, pre in a future video as to how these compare to the rest of the ones that come out. There's been like uh, two or three, two and a half inch models, I think there's a few more coming out, and so uh, you know, I'll have a sort of a roundup on these two and a half inch models later on this month. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you the flight demo. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.